Syracuse and Duke played in the ACC championship game last season, but this year would take on a whole different meaning. What a finish. You'll have to stick around to see it. First off, it started just like the UNC game two days ago for Syracuse with Evan Malloy making a couple of key saves in net, but eventually the Blue Devils would strike as Brad Smith would score here. He tied the game at 1-1 with 9.37 left in the first quarter. We fast forward to the end of the first quarter. Mellon forces the turnover. Malloy tosses it to Donahue, and Donahue shoots and scores with 1.6 seconds left on the clock. Syracuse takes a 3-2 lead. Sticking with the attack, Joe Gillis cuts inside, makes a move, and gets it to go. 5-3 Syracuse. Now at the end of the second quarter here, a little confusion as Malloy tries to block the shot. Brandon Mullins actually steps inside his stick, and the goal will count. Gutterding gets the goal. 6-5 SU heading into halftime. But in the third quarter, Donahue, that shot would not fall. Tim Barber with a nice goal there. It would be 8-5 Syracuse with 8.37 left in the third quarter. But Miles Jones finally would strike here in the second half. 8.41 left in the fourth quarter. It would be 9-8. And that's when the lightning delay occurred. It happened at 1.50. Both teams sent to the locker room, and you can see the footage there. It is a pond at Fifth Third Bank Stadium in Kennesaw, and neither team could really do much about it. Syracuse spent that time kind of fooling around on the field, but eventually they would move the game across the street to the Owl's Nest, the practice field for Kennesaw State. It's a turf field, so it dried up a little quicker than Fifth Third Bank Stadium, made up of nice grass, and all the fans stuck around for this one. And what a finish for Syracuse. They would go on to score five consecutive goals to seal the win. Donahue gets the goal on the extra man opportunity there, makes it 10-8. Next up, Salcedo goes right, flicks it right in, and it would just keep going on for Syracuse. This time, Salcedo to Dejoe, and that one falls. Everything coming up orange, and realistically, this practice field, they want to play here again. Barber Another goal, what a day for Timmy Barber. And then finally, to cap things off, had to be number 22. Jordan Evans gets the 14th goal of the game, the final score, 14 to eight Syracuse, and they would win their second consecutive ACC championship. They've been in the conference for three years, ladies and gentlemen. It is incredible what this team has done. Let's go to Coach Desco to see what he had to say after this one. Really uh, an interesting day, you know, between uh, the regular game and then coming out for the last seven minutes. Uh, I have to look back to see what happened. Everything happened so quickly, but it's certainly great to have the win. Thank talk, you. talk about your game. I mean, you were stopping shots left and right all day today. I mean, you, you can say you can say that, but honestly, I'm nothing without my defense. They played great all year for me. They played great this game today. You know, how many passes did those guys pick off today? You know, how many checks they trail checks they had? So you know, I mean, I, I made some saves, but honestly, they played great, and it's a team effort. Every time I have a good game, it's all them. So they just relaxed. Uh, you know, we caught our breath when we first came inside. And we obviously, a couple of delays. Uh, and then we got them fired back up, you know, to come back out. And, you know, fortunately we did. It was good to hit. We got to start with the ball and the man up. That didn't hurt anything. And uh, we were able to carry the momentum from there. I, I, I loved it. Walking across the street energized me and myself. I mean, it was like a summer league game. It felt, felt like at the end there. Um, so, yeah, that was, it was a great feeling. Yeah, I was uh, pleasantly surprised at the emotion. I thought after sitting around for a few hours, uh, we'd be a little bit flat. The guys came fired up and ready to play. I mean, it's great. You know, uh, a lot of people wrote us off this year after a little uh, rut there, but you know we proved everybody wrong once again, and it feels great to you know get out there, get a win with the team and everything. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, it's obviously it's not our, our main goal. We uh, we won this, and now uh, we gotta take it into the playoffs and hopefully bring on the national championship as well. It's a great preview. You know, obviously at Syracuse, our goal is to uh, win a national championship. You know, it's a great preview of back-to-back -back games in the Final Four. So now we know that we can play with the best of the best in a short period of time. So uh, it's good for us knowing that, and it's good confidence going forward. And it does feel wonderful uh, for two years in a row now. So to, to get bring it back home is certainly terrific. Thank you very much.